Happiness is the knowledge that you have the courage to endure and eventually overcome any challenge that comes your way. You're on The Happiness Project and this is me Dhanya. Merin Joseph, IPS DCP of Korikot City has been in the limelight ever since she became a part of the Kerala Kada Police Force. How she chooses to deal with her life personally and professionally is on The Happiness Project. Welcome to The Happiness Project, Merin. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Uh, Merin, the achievements are in it. Uh, the youngest IPS officer in the Kerala Kada, Pinne, youngest lady officer, I mean th third woman officer in the Kerala Kada. This by itself is a big achievement. But you as a person, how do you see it? This is a big achievement personally. Uh, for me, uh, civil service is a childhood dream. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't childhood ambition. So, uh, that was like, you know, the biggest achievement of my life. Uh, I was the youngest uh, uh, IPS officer, third Malayali lady IPS officer. These were uh, things that uh, just came by default. Came on, huh? uh, but clearing the exam was, I think, the first challenge and uh, the first achievement. So, that was a warm, that was a uh, thrill. It was not aware of it. And now, um, personally, if you take pride in something, I think uh, my career has been very brief. I started it, uh, but there uh, are experiences. Uh, I think in uh, 2016, I was in the State Independence Day parade. And I was informed when I was informed from DG's office that uh, I have to do this. I immediately thought of my days in the police academy where I had hated drill and uh, <laughs> it was like something that used to terrorize me. State one that I was able to do that, I was able to do that. I was able to do that challenge overcome. I was able to do that in the Mumbai Lord task. And uh, once I got into it, I realized that uh, I mean, the sense of uh, command that I was getting just by doing something like that uh, was so powerful. And finally, doing it successfully really made me feel good. And in uh, your personal uh, point of view, no one will ever achieve that achievement. Mm -hmm. uh, because at uh, physical strain, um, at the time loud, at the commands are going to come. Then, at the end, it's a very long program. So uh, it was also about overcoming many physical. Uh, Barriers. Also, I'm sure some mental barriers. Yeah, as mental well. barriers as well because um, uh, when you think that you're not naturally good at something and you have to do it at such mm -hmm. a grand scale, uh, it takes a bit of uh, mental conditioning also to do it. But other things that you have to do, you have That is one. Uh, second is, of course, um, I think every posting that I've had has been a learning experience and uh, just sitting in my chair every day and Doing my work well. Namalo uh, uh, a sense of achievement uh, uh, Every day is a challenge. Yeah, every day is a challenge, and you don't know what each day brings. So I think uh, just doing your work well and overcoming the challenges of that one day uh, is, you know, uh, rewarding in itself. Postings in a garden or not, and all the time to enter the personal and it now could end. I was uh, first, Munar Linda. I was Munar ASP first, uh, then I was in Rinalakuda, Rinalakuda ASP for three months. I would end up in a promotion. I then uh, Kerala Armed Police Battalion, second in a commander, no Palakadin, Palakadin. I would have eight months on Dirno, in a Abadanan. You working closely with the people there. With the single do you feel as as a functioning police officer, uh, handle and a daily and a daily every time the change and how should you do that? Ah, third item under basic principles are the same than yana. Like uh, everywhere there's public interaction. Everywhere you have to be very very careful mm -hmm. in in terms of your public dealings and everything else that you do. Uh, but uh, the like for example, Munar uh, post the pam, I would have Pembley Urma Samaram Narakana Samyatarno. But I would have a charge at the dosen the name and Adiang another crowd of thousands of women sitting on the street. And uh, it was my first posting. I had no experience of law and order, I had no idea how this is to be handled. All I knew is that I have a huge uh, contingent of police force. But if you manage clarity. 
So uh, that was my first, I think, uh, challenge uh, on the ground, on the field, and uh, being able to successfully handle that. That will be quite a lot. Then, kaiyaan chiyaan bati. But that is no professionally. Adiyam, I mean, tackle a little law and order situation. Uh, every post has been challenging. Every post has brought a different set of uh, uh, requirements, and I think adapting to each of those requirements has been what has made my job so interesting. अलग इतने इनके इधर लोरी इंटरेस्टिंग आइटल एस्पेक्ट इनके दोनों इटला मेरिन मेरिन पढ़ी चुके दम वाला अपना दम ओके दिल्ली लाना दिल्ली ले सेंट स्टीफेंस कॉलेज ना चाहे वन ऑफ द आई थिंक इंडिया ले तन्ने टॉप कॉलेजेस लम उन्ना ना अपन सेंट स्टीफेंस ले पढ़ी चुके दिल्ली वाला अपना उठे केर Adam, sekiranya mula IPS atau IPS officer aite, day to day care latin de socio economic political condition aite completely align je de work ke anora ena de. Adat anne uru beli transition ana le. Do you always feel that? I mean, how how life has been? I mean, it's just a huge change. Yes, definitely. Anja nuri kini mejari chilla. Anja parents de Delhi il settle imba. Nyaan care latin vanna worki vanna. But destiny had uh, different plans. plans. Uh, it's a smaller place. Uh, so, I was being watched very closely. I was being So, I was being watched very closely. I was being watched very closely. I was being watched very closely. You know, everything that you do is uh, also, I think, judged. Uh, oh, judgment is, is, is judged. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, we feel acclimatized by Varan Gora Samayad. Initially you feel hurt, you feel upset by the things people say, you know. And then you think like, what did I do wrong? I'm just leading my life. Why should someone else get so affected by what I'm doing? But then life in public layer slowly grows on you, I think. Now I'm like, I've reached that state of equilibrium where, you know, I'm like perfectly happy. That reminds me of all the controversies, oh, one after the other, my gosh, because of a picture with a star from somebody holding an umbrella. There were so many controversies that plagued you one after the other. Uh, Merin, other to easy face Allah. How did you hold through these uh, situations? What was that? Tagar no poga the namlo. And Merin ne kaise pratech prayam is not on your side. Apa idhe idhela hold idhe idhe to munno to poga no re na shakti abre neti. I think my family was very supportive and they knew that it's just cherry re gariam blow up idhe. अगर सोशल मीडिया डे वालों जो रीडी आम नॉलेज आ रही हैं, अब वो कर रही हैं, नो एंड दे एक्सप्लेन दैट टू मी एंड आई थिंक इवन दो आई वाज यंग, आई डिन टेक माय सेल्फ टू सीरियसली, सो दैट हेल्प्ड इफ यू आर एबल टू लाफ ऑफ समथिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द डे, देन यू नो इट डजन हैव टू रियली अफेक्ट योर मन्यान आदि हम सीरियस है तो नहीं रहते थे ला एंड एवरी टाइम अ कंट्रोवर्सी वुड कम आई वुड टेक अ फ्यू डेज ऑफ लीव एंड गो ऑफ ऑन अ वेकेशन सो दैट वाज माय कोपिंग स्ट्रेटजी आई रिमेम्बर आफ्टर दैट अम्ब्रेला कंट्रोवर्सी हैपेंड बट दैट डिन रियली अफेक्ट मी बिकॉज़ दैट वाज लाइक समथिंग uh, after when I had clicked a picture with uh, Nevin Polly and that became an issue, I went off on a vacation with my husband to Pondicherry <laughs> and uh, we had a cool time there and uh, two days there and I was able to mentally get over uh, you know whatever uh, was, was going, going on, on in my mind. So, I didn't have to personally edit it because I didn't have a lot of dynamics under like if a controversy is becoming a controversy or if the media is playing it up, it is because it will attract attention or it will get those TRP ratings for a couple of days. So, uh, in academy they taught us this thing that uh, all the uh, professional turbulence that you face or any controversy that comes to you because of your job uh, should never be taken personally because uh, that, that comes as part of being a public person. That's what I thought. But controversies every day in Merin, does it really affect you? Controversies, what they, they do is uh, they live, leave an imprint on people's head. Our mm. perception and mm. image, perception management when you work in mm. India, our perception is altering. Probably you are not what you are perceived to be. Now, this perception, Pratesh, our peers, superiors, our perception, our break, our challenge is all there. Definitely. Perception is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. So this was a challenge that I definitely realized and in my career, I don't know what I'm saying, it's not a good thing. People want to believe something about me, that's what they're going to believe. So I decided that I'll prove myself through my work and over a period of time, the people whom I interact with or the people who really matter to me, they would eventually know what sort of a person I am. Ipam logam itu, nama kita. Nampak explain je tu ada kanan betul. Explain je yang betul tu, lah. Alangkah lawer, nama kita. Enda anda manusia kanu anda perdi sih kena dene. It's like too much, you know. Merin ne kurcha ne. Merin ne online media le palat tu. Nyal writer tu hantar tu. They describe you as this beautiful 
പോലീസ് ഓഫീസർ പ്രിറ്റി പോലീസ് ഓഫീസർ വളരെ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻസ് ആണ് ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻറ്റർഫിയർ വിത്ത് ഹൗ പീപ്പിൾ ടേക്ക് യു ആൻഡ് യു പേഴ്സണലി ആസ് ആസ് എ വുമൻ ഇൻ ദ ഫോഴ്സസ് ഡു യു ഹാവ് ടു ഫീൽ സം ഡു യു ഫീൽ ദാറ്റ് സെക്സിസം ഓർ എനി കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് എ സബ്ലിമിനൽ കറണ്ട് ഓപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് അഗേൻസ്റ്റ് യു Okay. Uh, initially it used to upset me actually because mm. uh, I felt that I was being slotted you mm. know and that is a compliment that I have to say 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 that she is that, that and only that, that. you know I have to say that I have to say that initially uh, but then I had myself decided to overcome that like uh, you know okay I mean if I look a certain way and if people compliment me for that I am happy and I will take it gracefully but when it comes to my work none of these things really matter i mean nan uniform it kori kori dcp alle rip socks raagumbothe na my physical appearance is is in consequentially material appo ende joli nannayittu cheyanam adan eppozhu ende aadithe priority and uh, if you know i look good while doing it then i mean that is something that i just take as a bonus but i refuse to get slotted or uh, just be reduced to a pretty face and that is something that i have always resisted and uh, when uh, one publication had listed out the 10 most beautiful uh, ias and ips officers in the country had strongly objected to it because that is pure objectification um nammle bureaucrats ne aa oru reethi kaanunnadinne seriyalla ipam if they are pretty okay you i mean you can you know admire them from that point of view but to list out uh, you know names of officers simply on the basis of the way they appear and to celebrate them for that is to demean their other achievements or to somehow reduce the the work that other officers are doing apo adu enikku valare oru endha sexist oru approach aayittu thonni and i objected to that so i refused to get slotted and uh, i still think that ipo nan engena ende joli eynadu aalkarene aa reethi judge cheyanam my appearance whatever it may be is only secondary so that is the way i look at it then where would i be so officer ende oru video clip njan kandittu rupa she to konshashi kala ende jee അപ്പോൾ അവരതിനകത്ത് വളരെ പോയിൻ്റൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളൊരു ഒരു പോയിൻ്റ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പറഞ്ഞത് പലപ്പോഴും ഐ പി എസ് ഓഫീസേഴ്സിനും ഓഫ് പോലീസ് ഫോഴ്സിന് തന്നെ പെർഫോം ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റാത്തത് അവരുടെ ഉള്ളിലുള്ള ഷാക്കിൾസ് ആണ് അവരുടെ അവർ തന്നെ അവരെ ടൈ ഡൗൺ ചെയ്യുകയാണ് അത് അവരുടെ ജോബ് അവർ അങ്ങനെ തന്നെ ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പലപ്പോഴും പല കാര്യങ്ങളും അനായാസമായിട്ട് അത് പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ പ്രഷർ ആയാലും നമ്മുടെ പിയേഴ്സോ സുപ്പീരിയേഴ്സിൻ്റെ പ്രഷർ ആയാലും വേറെ എന്ത് കറപ്ഷൻ റിലേറ്റഡ് ഇഷ്യൂസ് ആണ് എന്താണെങ്കിലും അവർക്കത് ഹാൻഡിൽ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നേ ഉള്ളൂ പക്ഷെ മനസ്സിലെ ഷാക്കിൾസ് ആദ്യം ബ്രേക്ക് ചെയ്യണം ഡു യു അഗ്രി വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ഐ തിങ്ക് വി ക്യാൻ ഗോ ആസ് ഫാർ ആസ് ആർ മൈൻഡ് അലൗസ് എസ് ടു ഗോ ഐ തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ബേസിക് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ സോ നമ്മളെ കൊണ്ട് എന്തെങ്കിലും ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമെന്ന് നമ്മൾ തീരുമാനിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും നമ്മളെ കൊണ്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ബട്ട് ഇഫ് ഈസ് ആർട്ട് ലിമിറ്റിംഗ് ആ സെൽസ് മെൻ്റലി then that would obviously reflect in a job uh, so for example just to cite uh, from professional experience that i have had uh, last year uh, we sent uh, 10 companies that is around 870 uh, of our kerala policemen on election duty to goa and uh, uttar pradesh appo menne irunnu party commander right select cheyada because i was commandant at that time appo ivarku leadership kodutha ivarde kooda rendu maasam yathra cheyana irunnu ende task so uh, initially when this was given to me and uh, the camp illulla deputy commandant to my assistant commandants thanne paranju madam rendu maasam idinu munbu oru party commander um continuous aayittu duty cheyidittilla and uh, you are a lady how are you going to manage the logistics are going to be very difficult chalu thamasikkan proper salam kittathilla there won't be you know proper toilets Public where toilets, yeah. uh, when you are traveling and uh, you'll have to travel uh, if you decide to travel with the men then it will be in trains and conditions are going to be very very uh, shabby അപ്പോൾ അത് കേട്ടപ്പോഴത്തേക്കും തന്നെ ഞാൻ തീരുമാനിച്ചു ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് സംതിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഹാവ് ടു ഡു ആൻഡ് ഐ ഹാഡ് ദി ഓപ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് കമ്മിങ് ബാക്ക് മിഡ് വേ ലൈക്ക് സമ്മൺ എൽസ് കുഡ് ഹവ് ടേക്കൺ ഓവർ ആഫ്റ്റർ സേ ടെൻ ഡേയ്സ് ഓർ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഡേയ്സ് ഓർ എ മന്ത് ബട്ട് ഐ വാസ് ഡിറ്റേമിൻ ടു ഡു ദി എൻറ്റയർ ടു മന്ത്സ് ആൻഡ് നോട്ട് ടു യു നോ പ്രൂവ് എ പോയിൻറ്റ് ടു ദ വേൾഡ് ബട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ടു ടെൽ മൈ സെൽഫ് ദാറ്റ് യു നോ എന്നെ കൊണ്ട് ഇത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് വെരി ടഫ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ വെരി വെരി ഹാർഡ് അസൈൻമെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് യു പി എസ് യു നോ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ചാലഞ്ചിങ് പ്ലേസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർലി അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം ഓഫ് ഇലക്ഷൻ and uh, every two days three days we were you know shifting with uh, all our uh, you know equipments and all our bag baggage everything and uh, through those poorly maintained roads and we would reach a place and then we would not know what next you know then we would have to start everything from scratch so in that sort of a situation if um, 870 men ennu varnal or or third day individual avashyangal nammal take care of it's almost like that you know so no one should be inconvenienced 
and that was a challenge that I had before me. So I think overcoming that and just doing that assignment, uh, you know, properly and to my satisfaction was, I think, one of the best examples of how you can overcome a mental challenge. And we don't have to do anything like that. But when we force ourselves to do it or when we tell ourselves that, yeah, you know, it is something that you can do and do it and prove it to yourself, then I think that is a mental barrier that you break. Each time our barrier overcome, we have to set up a new challenge. So I think... Uh, it's definitely all in the mind, you know. Did your husband also have to face a lot of uh, blocks from his family and friends when they said, no, I, when, when you decided to get married to each other, did that happen? Uh, no, it was an arranged marriage. We had a one-year courtship, but... There was a lot of pressure. There was a lot of pressure. Definitely, I think that he also faced. In fact, when I was in Kerala, I didn't have to go to Kerala. So, I was in Kerala. I was in Kerala. I was in Kerala. So, I was engaged when I was in the academy. And uh, the Akadas were not yet out. So, in my mental calculation, I was in Karnataka. I was in and that was what was actually there in our you know scheme of things when we were planning out how the logistics of our life would work out and uh, <laughs> for me my condition was that uh, the person who will marry me should be willing to come and settle in Karnataka along with me and then you're a doctor I mean yeah, he has so, to be in one place for sure yeah so this was the condition that had been set when you know uh, marriage proposals for me were being uh, vetted uh, um, uh, you know, my husband, my uh, the person I eventually married was someone who had agreed to this condition. So that was one of the reasons why <laughs> we actually took our relationship ahead, you know. So I think uh, uh, one of the things that I said in front of him was, okay, this is what it's going to be like to be married to an IPS officer and you will have to make a lot of adjustments for my career, I mean, rather than the other way around, you know. So it's only if uh, you can handle that, then, uh, you know, there is any point in getting married. What is that uh, uh, one trait in there, you know, Dr. Chrysler, that, that you said this is the guy because, I mean, huh. it is a huge decision to make yeah. and especially when you are a uh, bureaucrat in the LK, it is a decision. I think for me, the fact that he was so accommodating, mm. I think that was what uh, really, you know, bowled me over and sort of helped me to make my decision that, yes, he is the man I should marry. Merin and the Vektikim, Merin and the IPS officer, no, happiness in the work in it. I think we are able to give 100% that we can to, to our family. I think that is happiness because if we have a feeling of lack of fulfillment, we don't have to do anything, 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 I think we can never be truly happy. So once we are convinced that I am doing my best and once you are satisfied with that level of effort that you are putting in, then I think that is happiness because everything else will come and go. But material things are not available. If we go shopping, we buy something that can of course give us happiness and we need that sort of happiness too. I think truly lasting happiness can only come when we feel that uh, we are doing our best as a human being. So <clears throat> professionally, we are doing our best and personally also, I mean, we are doing justice to all our relationships, then I think that um, will definitely give us happiness in the long run. Thank you so much, Marin. It's lovely to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.